Hey y'all, here's a 1091 hardwood hollow, um, left hand side of the lot. It's going to be right in this area, left corner. Um, it is a little narrower lot at the top uh, and then widens as you go to the bottom. Um, sits on the end of a cul-de-sac um, based upon the site plan. That house there is pushed all the way to the left hand side of their lot. Um, but you can see it's a nice quiet cul-de-sac. Homes around here are varied in their age. As I said, this is the top left and then it runs down and along. Um, over to where those utility boxes are, uh, roughly right in that area. You can kind of see the white stake uh, sticking up a little bit. Um, and then it runs down, uh, straight on down to the golf course. Uh, this is definitely a lot that we would want to get a builder on. Uh, so I'll try to see if I can get somebody out here tomorrow if this one shows appeal and is of interest. Uh, but it's got some, it's got some drainage issues. Um, nothing really major, but definitely stuff that you just need to know about before you go into it. Uh, you've got a, a ditch that runs along the right hand side over there, which I don't really think is an issue. Um, that's just bringing the water all the, from the top, um, is running down to the golf course. And I believe there's a culvert down at the base of the lot which runs underneath the golf course to drop all the water into the pond. Um, and then there is uh, some ditching that has come about as a result of erosion over on the left-hand side. Um, so that would be part of the water direction plan uh, that gets submitted at the time of building. But as I said, would really want to get a builder out here to know how far down can we push a house, um, what kind of site prep costs are going to be, and all of that. Um, I would probably, uh, based upon Colleen's desire to have a relatively short driveway, um, I would keep the house actually up high. Um, you can see my truck up there, so not too far. We just walked down it. Um, and I would probably keep right about where I'm standing would be the center of the house. And then I would clear out um, a bunch of these small trees and kind of open up this whole backyard area. You could create a nice little park-like setting in here. Um, you do have a big mound on the left-hand side of the lot. Um, so pushing the house down too far uh, you're going to end up having to build big retaining wall and stuff over on that side, which is just going to get cost prohibitive. Um, but your view uh, is going to be kind of over that direction there behind that house. Um, you can't really see it all from here, but there is a big, huge pond. Um, and that pond runs straight down along, uh, I believe that's number 12, if memory serves, of the preserve course. Um, but this is about where I would put the back of the house, maybe maybe down a little bit further, uh, but I wouldn't go too much further down because I think that's going to then narrow your view a little bit and it's going to put you lower. So whereas from this space here, you would eliminate a lot of those smaller trees uh, would just go and then your larger trees, you're going to limb those up. Uh, you can limb up to 60 feet. So that kind of opens up that view. You can see there's a kind of a ditch right there. It doesn't look very active because it's full of leaves. So my guess is that's only when we have really, really heavy rain. Uh, but again, that would be part of uh, the drainage plan and the water removal plan. Um, there'd have a big culvert would get put in there or some French drainage or whatever. Uh, and that all leads down, you can see basically right down at the bottom of the lot. Um, I didn't walk all the way down there, but it appears to me like there's a culvert 
uh, that runs underneath the cart path and across and over to the pond. Uh, it would make sense that that's back there. Not a bad lot uh, for the price point, uh, but definitely has uh, some, there's the house next door, definitely has some questions that need to be answered uh, before uh, you would want to finalize a deal on this. Uh, so just all work that could be done during due diligence or, or beforehand if it's of interest.